Well, hey everyone, this is Mr. Pearson, and today we're going to talk about expanded form, writing numbers in expanded form, using something called expanded notation. <laughs> Today, we're going to learn about how to write numbers in expanded notation, which is another way to write numbers using expanded form. When we write numbers using expanded notation, what we're going to do is we're going to take the digit, the number that you see, and we're going to multiply it by the place value position that that digit is located in in that particular number. Now, in the past, we've learned that the place value consists of the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place, and those numbers just keep going on forever. Eventually, we're going to reach the millions, and then we'll do ten millions, hundred millions, billions, and so forth. It continues on forever. So, if we want to write a number using expanded notation, what we're going to do is we're going to take the digit that's in a particular place value position and we're going to multiply it by the value of that position. Does that sound complicated? I know that sounds like a lot, but don't worry. It's actually quite simple once you figure out the pattern. As in most things in math, there's a pattern to this. So here's the pattern. If the digit is in the ones place, you're going to multiply it by 1. If the digit is in the tens place, you're going to multiply that digit by 10. If it's in the hundreds place, multiply that digit by 100. If it's in the thousands place, multiply it by 1,000. If it's in the ten thousands place, multiply it by 10,000. I don't have it here on the chart, but if it's in the hundred thousands place, what are you going to multiply it by? Exactly, you're going to multiply it by 100,000. So, if we want to write a number in expanded notation, we simply take the digits and multiply each number by the number of the position that it is in. So, for example, let's say we have the number 35, and we need to write that in expanded notation. What we're going to do is we're going to take the 3 from the tens place. We're going to multiply it by 10. So, you can see here we have 3 times 10 because the 3 happens to be in the tens place. And then we're going to say plus, like we would in regular expanded form, plus 5 in the ones place, 5 times 1, and that gives us 35. 3 times 10 is 30, 5 times 1 is 5, 30 plus 5 is 35. All right, here's another example. We have the number 437. So the 4 is in the hundreds place, 4 times 100 plus the 3 and the tens place, so 3 times 10, plus 7 in the ones place, 7 times 1 equals 437. Now you'll notice that when we do this, we always put each group of numbers, the multiplication fact, we put that in parentheses to kind of keep it neat and organized. Uh, this is called the distributive property. Now, um, the next number, the next example I have is 5,379. So we're going to say 5 times 1,000, because 5 is in the thousands place, plus the 3, which is in the hundreds place, so 3 times 100, plus 7 in the tens place, 7 times 10, plus 9 in the ones place, 9 times 1, equals 5,379. All right, are you ready to try one on your own? Here's the number. I want you to take a look at that. It's 573. Go ahead and pause the video, jot down your answer on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, whatever you have handy, and then unpause to see my explanation of the answer. All right, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully your answer, this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw a parentheses because we want to keep things neat. Now the 5 happens to be in the hundreds place, so we're going to say 5 times 100 plus another parentheses. 7 times 10, because the 7 is in the tens place, plus another parent set of parentheses, 3 in the ones place, 3 times 1, and that equals 500, 
73, just like that. Now, here's another one you can try, 6,328. Do the same thing. Pause the video so you can uh, jot down your answer and then unpause to check your work according to my explanation. All right, so we're going to do six in the thousands place. So we're going to say six times 1,000 plus another parentheses, three times 100 because the three is in the hundreds place plus two times 10 because two is in the tens place plus eight times one because the eight is in the ones place equals 6,328. All right. Here's another one for us. This one's a little longer. 57,219. Go ahead and do the same thing. Pause the video, write down your answer, and then come back and double check. Here we go. All right, welcome back. Hopefully your answer matches mine. Now, this one was a little longer, so the five is in the 10 thousandths place. So we're gonna parentheses five times 10,000 plus, yep, that's right, seven times 1,000. Don't forget to put your commas. Plus two times 100, because it's in the hundreds place, plus one times 10. Oops, my multiplication sign got a little weird there. There we go, oops. It's hard to write on a screen sometimes. Plus nine times one equals 57,219, just like that. All right, and then here's a tricky one. This one is a little bit difficult, so go ahead and pause and let's see what you come up with as well. We're going to write this. We're going to do 4 times 1,000 because the 4 is in the thousands place. But now if you notice, there's a 0 in the hundreds place. If you ever have a 0 like that, you don't need to write anything because 0 times any number is going to be 0. So we're just going to totally skip over that. And we're going to say, we're going to move right to the tens place, 7 times 10 plus two times one in the ones place equals 4,000, put a zero, because we do have to keep the space there. We, Even though we have nothing in the hundreds place, if we don't have a space there, it's gonna shrink our number down. 4,000 plus 70 plus two, 4,072. All right, well today, we learned how to write numbers in expanded notation. And again, this is just another way to write numbers in expanded form. It's good to know this because uh, later on as you move into older grades and learn more science, you're gonna write numbers this way. Um, and to write a number, as a review, to write a number in expanded notation, we simply multiply the digit by the value of the place value position. So times one if it's in the one place, times 10 if it's in the tens place, times 100 in the hundreds place, etc. Well, again, my name is Mr. Pearson, and this has been Expanded Form Using Expanded Notation. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.